lady, come here. So we got a call for a truck. It's uh, on its side in a ditch out on the Arizona Strip. We're gonna head out there and see if we can get it on its wheels and get it drugged back to the safety of some sort of a repair shop. Good morning. Um, it's a nice day today so far. It'll get up to about 80 degrees, but right now it's about 60, so we're feeling good. In the back we got Tucker. He's our head editor and probably gonna be doing some filming today. Rudy's following up in his Jeep. This is gonna be a winching job, probably. So, buckle up, buttercup. Well, we're at Maverick again. Probably gonna go in and get some breakfast. This is a mess. The difficulty of we're, passing this thing up. We're waiting for some flexible hose so that we can connect the gas tank to the filler. But it's not here yet. So every time we fuel this up, it's just a nightmare. It's a comedy, it's a tragedy, a love story, a hate story. All right, I want biscuits and gravy and probably Mountain Dew and a water. Okay. I'm gonna be here for 20 minutes, dribbling gas into this tank. <laughs> Look at Lizzie here with all the food. All the good stuff from Maverick. <laughs> we eat so healthy here at Matt's Off Road Recovery, it's not even funny. If you join our diet plan, you too can be shredded like Tucker. Super shredded. <laughs> shredded cheese. We're, we're trying to eat better, but it's okay. Pig pen, this is the rubber ducky. Come on back. This is Rubber Ducky in the Moore Bear. Poor Bear don't care. What did you say the first time? What's your 20 little brother? We're at your 6 o'clock. We're at your 6 o'clock. <laughs> I guess I should have checked one of my three mirrors that are properly adjusted. Now you could have done that. You only have done that. We're officially past the mark they dropped, but he told me on the phone they were 15 minutes further south. So we're on a wild goose chase. Well, I'm really hoping they're here up the road about two or three miles. And I'm also hoping he was telling the truth when he said it was 30 feet off the road. So we're kind of getting to a spot that's making me nervous. Like if he's off this, we're gonna have a struggle. That Lizzie? What? Kind of going across the road right there. Right in front of us. This is gonna take some work. You got a plan for getting this on the trailer? It's gonna be exciting. Yep, I don't have a specific plan, but we'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. say that I've never seen a bottom of an F-150 like this. Not from this point of view. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, Lizzie down. Lizzie. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> what do you want done, Rudy? Uh, just some pitch and so because it's cracked back. Stand clear. Yeah, you're gonna have to stand on the brake.
Yeah, yeah, just start picking everything up. And you got the keys for it? That scared me, Lizzie. Huh? <laughs> scared me. That scared you? Freedom winch line. Well, yeah, okay, Rudy, what do you think? Of? I'll just hook onto it to bust the trailer and pull it up onto the road yeah. and then get you on the side of it. And pull it up on. Pull it up on. Do we, there's enough. Try, do we want to use gravity as our yeah, friend and drag it down that way? Let's do that. Are you serious about that or no? Okay, yeah, let's stand here. Go around. I don't know what it's going to do. I have a feeling it's, that back end is not going to want to come up, but we'll see. So I was gonna go off into the ditch again. Well, this should be exciting. Okay, Lizzie, go get the Jeep and back it up right here. Well, it could go two ways. It could either go good or bad. Back to you, Ken. I think it's gonna work. If that back wheel gives us trouble, we'll use the winch and just do it more controlled. If it doesn't give us any trouble, we'll just pull it on, pull it on the trailer. And Lady. You having fun, huh? Okay, Ruth, Lizzie's gonna tell you what to do. it on the truck the trailer but it needs to roll back on the trailer okay so the ramps can clear the back wheels keep going just roll together to the left There's like straight up a culvert right here. <laughs> Stop. That's good. Okay, let's 
go watch that other side. up on that other side. The axle, this is the tire that blew, the axle is broken. So we're just hung up on it. Yeah. Okay, so maybe. If you could pick this up with your winch and eased forward. I pushed it forward. Uh, do you think that's possible? I don't. The only damage I'm concerned about is the vehicle. Well, let's pick it up and see what happens. Now we're grasping at straws. <laughs> Does the winch not work or do you not have a jump box? I don't have a jump box. I don't have a good power it. I didn't. When the call came in, he said it had a flat tire. And then he said it was on its side. And then when we get here, we see the wheel is literally broke off. Yeah. I don't know what you said. Salad center, center on it. Oh, I, I heard macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> I heard lots of macaroni too earlier. <laughs> well, maybe you guys should stop using those radios. It's super entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> like he said something. I don't even remember what he was saying. I'm like, what did he say to him? I don't know. Can you repeat that? Same. Tim, did you catch that? No. What? Macaroni. Maybe if we say macaroni, we'll actually understand. Yeah, so just put it in neutral and I'll drag the brakes a little bit to where you come into it. Okay, right there, stop. We've got no choice, no chance. I can tell by his smile that he doesn't think this one is going to work either. <laughs> He's just stacking rocks. He's like, yeah, no. We're building you a bridge to drive up on. I like bridges. I burn a lot of bridges, but that's okay. We're building new ones right now. Okay, come on forward.
it has occurred to me that anytime we take this car hauler trailer anywhere, it's with a it's with our blue Ford. And it has straps in the back of it. The Corvair doesn't. I think I might have a couple. I hope. Fingers crossed. We'll check in a minute. <laughs> I saved the day again. I can't remember the last time I did, but I saved it today. I have two. Okay. <laughs> what? That's sketchy. What's sketchy? Two straps? This is an interesting setup we got going. Trust me. I know. And it'll work. It'll be fine. Redneck tie down. So we start right here. Okay? Down here. Then we go under, loop it around, come up, go back down, go under, loop it through here, go under. You following me? And then go up around this, right here, and then go around and hook it with a soft shirt. That took way shorter to explain than I did to put it on. So we're testing the welds on the receiver and the structural integrity of the back of the car because I've got a little bit more tongue weight than I wanted. I should have adjusted it, but I didn't. It's actually handling really nice, so we'll just take it easy. We'll get there safe and sound. hotter than my front tires. So yeah, back the tow truck up in here. We're gonna put it on the rollback because I don't want to fight this. I don't know what the conditions are where they're at. We got lots of room here. We're gonna load it. We had to improvise, Ed. Oh crap. Yeah. We showed up to the scene, it was flipped over on its side, so we had to tip it over, unload the dirt bike, load the dirt bike back in, pulled it up on the road, took a little bit of thinking to get it back on the trailer finagling. without a winch. Finagling is the <laughs> word you're looking for. Yeah, lots of finagling. Yeah, and so we got it up there, loaded it up, the Corvair pulled it home, nice and That's easy. I'm very impressed. It looked sketchy, but it handled nicely. Yeah, we were sitting like this the whole time. What's that, the Georgia squat? <laughs> I'm gonna go drop it off. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.